Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot. And in today's reading, we are allowing the universe to pick your reading for you. Uh, to do this reading, I'm going to explain how this works. This is a different reading, so I highly recommend that you watch for a minute how this is done. Otherwise, you may feel confused and I would hate for you to miss a fun reading like that. As you can see, I've created a, a simple deck where I've intuitively picked throughout the last two years a reading here and there. Uh, with a specific pile in every single card. And so the way we're going to be doing this is that we're going to be shuffling this deck. Oh, I already see one, two, three, and four. I already see the four piles. And as usual, you're going to be picking intuitively which, let me center them, which of the four piles you're the most drawn to. Once we turn the cards upside down, you'll find exactly what your reading is and in specific which pile. You'll go down in the uh, uh, description box. You'll find a link uh, in this pile that you've picked that will take you not only directly to the reading, but to the specific pile that will be mentioned uh, in your card. Right. So to help you out, I'm going to be placing four crystals for you to choose from. Uh, let me get these right now. There we go. Let me introduce your crystals to you. For pile number one, you have the clear quartz. For pile number two, you have the rose quartz in the shape of a star. For pile number three, you have the sodalite in the shape of a star. And for pile number four, you have the kyanite. All right, so take a look at which one of these four piles or four crystals you're the most drawn to. And that will probably be the pile for you here today. If you feel drawn to more than one pile, I highly recommend you check it out. After all, today's reading is an open reading to what the universe is specifically choosing for you to hear today. And um, I'll leave you with these crystals and four piles for a couple of seconds. Please pause if you need more time before I we uh, reveal the cards. All right, so let's see what we have for today's reading. For pile number one, you have what you don't see coming and how it will impact your life soon. This is a reading, uh, this is pile number one, and this was the date it was released. It was January the 16th, 2022. For pile number two, you have your future career connections and blessings. This will be pile number three. This reading was released on March the 11th, 2022. Pile number three. You have, oh, again, your future career connections and blessings. Pile number two. Again, this was released on March the 11th, 2022. How interesting. And for pile number four, you have important messages from your future self. This will be pile number two. Uh, and this reading was released on February the 8th, 2022. I just want to note, because sometimes you guys ask me this question, how come the pile that I clicked on does not have the same stone? 
This is because these are past readings that have already been done that have their own stones. And these stones are only used for you to use your intuition to click on the reading that the universe has chosen for you. And as usual, you'll find your timestamps down in the description box. Click on that link and it will lead you directly to the reading and the pile that you have chosen for today's reading. Feel free, as I said, to choose several ones if you feel drawn to them. There's definitely more that the universe wants to deliver to you if you have an inkling here and there about another pile. And my dear soul family, I really enjoy doing these, this re specific reading for you. I do it once a month and I wait, believe me, all month to do this one. Have fun. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye!